Taiwan has almost everything for almost everyone. Quiet nature reserves, big cities, and an abundance of street food. To encourage more tourists to discover the many facets of the archipelago, the government has set up a lucky draw at all the main air hubs, a chance to win a coupon worth 150 euros. Many end up losing. But some hit the jackpot. We are poor university students, so yeah, this is a great news. I plan to use this one to take transport and buy some snacks for my colleague. This year, a quarter of a million golden tickets are up for grabs. If they're all used, that'll add up to 37 million euros re-injected into the Taiwanese economy. For now, this Taipei hotel only cashed in around 1,000 euros of coupons in the past month. But after years without foreign guests, it's still a sign the situation is improving. During the pandemic, it's kind of a disaster for all hotels in Taiwan. So right now, we all need every penny, every extra of it. And thank you, the government, for it. <laughs> While it's too early to measure the impact of the campaign, foreign visitors have already started to return. This tour guide says it's partly because Taiwan has been in the news so much lately. The handling of the COVID crisis, and especially this potential crisis with Chinese threats, have put the spotlight on Taiwan. This attracts a lot of curiosity from Western visitors. Taiwan has set a modest target of 6 million foreign visitors for 2023, far less than pre-pandemic levels of 11 million. The biggest target markets are South Korea, Japan, Southeast Asia, but conspicuously absent are mainland Chinese tourists as Beijing and Taipei impose restrictions on cross-strait travel.